don't forget to hit the like button and click on the subscribe. Hello YouTubers. Look. My amazing car. Today, as you all asked for it on Instagram, I'm going to be installing my long loss seat belt pads, or shoulder pads even. Um, these used to be in my 205 GTI, that's how old they are. But, I thought it was a cheeky install video. I shall put them in my car. So let's get to it. Right. So those of you that have never seen these before, let's get my car backwards. Um, these actually sit on the seat belts and go on your shoulder. How cool is that, eh? Probably a 90s thing. Um, yeah. And I may just put them in the back because the plan is, as I keep saying, long term, to um, remove the interior. But I mean, it is really clean. So I'm finding it really hard to go full on race car look. But yeah, that's what I plan to do. So what do you think? Front seat. Back seat. Hmm, let's see. See what we can decide. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick yep. tock. You join me in the back of the car. Then I thought, well, the seatbelts don't actually pull back on my neck, but yeah. Oh, one thing I will do whilst I'm in the back of the car is show you these. I picked them up on eBay uh, a little while ago. Obviously, they contain these. Um, don't fall. <laughs> they contain these like beads that absorb the moisture. And as it says, when the yellow dot turns green, you recharge it by taking it out. And I think you microwave them, and it warms them up, removes the moisture. But I must admit. They're working really well. Backward sticker. And it looks like it's going to rain. Oh well. So, let's show how these things go on. Do do do. Pan shot or something like that. Right. Yeah. So, some people think these were fashionable in the 90s, but they basically have. Very hard to do with one hand. Although some things in life aren't difficult to do with one hand. Yeah, they have a look how clean they are. Look, they've been in my attic for years. Um, I should really do a history video of my old cars. The history video of my old cars. Do a video of my old cars in some kind of chronological order. I don't know. But I had a 205 GTI 1.6 Peugeot. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people don't like French cars, but I don't actually mind them, to be truthful. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a 205 GTI that I actually stripped. I had door cards, it had bucket seats, it had Group A suspension, everything. Um... And it was, it was demonic. It really was. It weighed nothing. Um, but yeah, like all good things, I sold it and moved on to some other dirty car. But I keep looking at Citroen C2s. But um, yeah, or an Alpha. Who knows what the future will bring. Anyway, once you're on Valkyrie that, that bit. Goes like that, and then that bit goes around like that. How's that for an install video? 
Um, what's the betting they fade? There's a bit of dust in my car. Yeah. And who else does this? Does anybody else do this? I certainly do. <laughs> right, let's get the other one on. Somebody will probably put a comment down below saying, oh, I'm gonna have to do it like this, that I've put them on the wrong way. But, look at this, look. Seatbelt pad cam. Yeah, somebody will say I've put them on the wrong way. They should go on that way. But maybe I should put them on that way. Do it as a uh, wheel hoy, secure core, Omega touring car look. Obviously, about when he rolled the car at Silverstone. Well, I say he rolled the car. He had some assistance, my young Julian Bailey. Look at that. Done. Done. Right, let's get them level, because I'm that nerdy. <laughs> How nice it is. Excellent. Here we go. Back in the front of the car. Yeah, my horn button's lopsided because I need to adjust the button for um, actually making the horn work. Right, so let's do this great reveal. In slow mo. I don't know if I like music. I can't get the camera far back. There we go. How cool was that, eh? And how's that for an episode of the Karina journey? Yeah. Um, I do have some more content coming up. That's not the complete reason that I'm putting these on. Uh, I have been speaking to various people still about my brake upgrade and caliper upgrade brake lines brake hoses wishbones anti-roll bars and bushes yeah it's just you wouldn't believe it's just an unbelievably it's just an unbelievable process because the minute you speak to anybody about my car they say oh, it's not listed and I think that's because it's not a Mark 7 Fiesta, as I've said before. Uh, having said that, I quite like the Mark 6 Fiesta ST. Hmm. Hmm. Right, one other thing to do in this video. Um, and let's give the interior a quick spray with my favourite spray. Not a paid promotion, but some of my yum cars lemon zest stuff i mean yeah it blows your head off it's really cool right let's go and grab it and give a quick pump and film it for you all to watch yum lemon zest open the car door Finger on pump, pump. Look at that for some pumping action. Yep, hit the phone. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Lemon. And I mean, I'm definitely not paid to say this. None of my videos are monetized. Um, I need millions of subscribers for that, but I really do recommend this. Um, whew, it's lemony and it will last for days and days. Right, that was a very short video, wasn't it? I have got some um, wiper blades on order and some 
Doop. And some Rain-X. Rain repellent screen wash additive. That's a mouthful. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting for it for two weeks now to arrive from a reputable, um, how would we describe them? Motorsports accessories company. Um, not quite sure because I paid for a fairly quick delivery. Uh, anyway, yeah, more of that in another exciting episode of the Karina journey. Um, 100th episode coming up soon. I've got a few more to do. I just, like I say, I'm struggling to get parts, but uh, my MOT has obviously been extended. Um, it's due in July, but I believe I've got a six month extension to the end of January. Uh, mileage check. Yeah. There's dust. Look. It's because I drive around with my arm hanging out of the window. Uh, <laughs> like a Duke boy. Anyway, that concludes this episode. Just me really rabbiting on, really, isn't it? But some people like these bloggy type videos. But as per usual, I'll probably put a picture on this on Instagram around about now, uh, which is early June, and you'll probably see this in late August, early September. Um, yeah, that's how long it takes me to edit a video. No, it's not really. I've just, like I say, I actually film about 12 weeks in advance because originally every part I was ordering was taking two months to arrive. Even wiper blades. Anyway, yeah, stay tuned. Um, I've got to do something to this car soon. And yeah, check out future episodes of The Korean Journey. Thanks for watching. Have fun, stay safe, and drive clean. Gin up.